Hi there, welcome to another video for Totally Keyboard. I'm Matt Harrison and today I'm going to talk about a feature within Reason 5 called resampling. What it allows you to do is plug any of the onboard devices into one of the samplers and make a recording of it. Now this is a new feature within Reason 5, you couldn't do this in previous versions. And the way it allows you to do it is by using this feature here, the sampling input. Now what that does is connect any device that's plugged in to all of the samplers that are in the project. So in this instance I've got a redrum instance and what I'm going to do is I'm going to use the start sampling button which is this one in redrum. I'm going to use that to record a few different sounds. So what I've done is I've put together a few different bits and pieces. I've loaded up one of the stock loops into Dr. Octo and I'm going to sample a couple of slices of that. But first of all, here's a bass drum patch that I've put together in Thor. So what I'm going to do now is connect that up to the sampling input. Now the way I'm doing it in this project, because this is one of the projects I use to make new sounds, the way I've done it is I've connected the aux send of send1 to the sampling input and turned up all of the levels on the um, on send1 of the devices that I want to sample. So what that does is it sends the audio from the channel strip into the sampling in and you should be able to see the meters move. Yeah, you can. So what I'm going to do now is sample that bass drum sound. And to do that, you hit this button here. Let it tail off before you uh, press stop. Now notice that it trims away the silence at the beginning so that it sort of goes right up to the transient. And because I've recorded the full length, I can now adjust the length in redrum. So I can shorten it right down. Let's bring that up a bit. I'm quite happy with the sound of that. Now, one another great source of sounds are the loops. So load up a loop, in this case I've loaded up, loaded up one of the stock ones and just find some sounds that you like. So I'm going to need a snare first of all, so... Yeah, that's pretty suitable. So once again, just hit the start sampling button. There you go. So now let's find some hi-hats. So once again, just play through the samples. I quite like those two. So in this case, I've got them on channel three and channel four. I've got a, pro a pattern already programmed in here, you see. So So if I play this pattern now, that is completely made with sampled audio. And with some tweaking around, you can really sort of get some great sounds out of it. There you go. And this is just a really basic example. You can use any of the synths, any of the samplers, and also 
you can use these new audio inputs to you connect those straight into the audio sampler and you can sample any of the um, any of your existing audio so uh, say you've got a um, a keyboard with some really good drum sounds on you can sample those in and because it trims away the silence at the beginning automatically fairly sort of well it's dead easy so that's just a basic overview you can do a lot more with it but um, just for the sake of simplicity I've done it in redrum but um, I'll show you very quickly how you do it in NNXT uh, just initialize the patch and open it up like that well there you go it's the same principle you just hit the start sampling button you've got to have something to sample first it doesn't matter that I've left it going for so long though because all you do is hit press stop and then you can go down select it now that's not particularly practical but say you've got a really nice synth uh, patch that you want to sample say you've got a, a hardware sampler or you're exporting to contact or something what you can do is open up your instrument in this case I'll use um, what shall I use this patch, this Lucy in the Sky with Diamonds patch that I put together. So say I want to sample that, I just choose um, usually middle A. So once again just initialize your patch for the sake of simplicity. And you can do this over and over, you can do a, a sort of full multi-sample if you want, but for the sake of quickness I'm just going to sample this one A. And of course that hasn't sampled because I haven't turned the send up. So there you are, there's the technical hitch for this video. Um, just initialize the patch, where the hell is it? And there you go. Now obviously that sounds a bit rank, but with some tweaking you could get that there. But anyway, that's the basic idea, and that's how you can use it in a couple of different applications. So I'll leave that there, and have fun. I'm Matt Harrison, this has been another video for Totally Keyboard. Check out the blog at everythingkeyboard.blogspot.com and make sure you subscribe to the videos as well because there's going to be a few more of these videos coming up pretty soon. Alright, take care. Bye-bye now.